Well, welcome fellow travelers. Your traveling buddy here. Coming to you Dave from my home site. And you know, with all this uh, virus thing going on and I'm stuck at home anyway, I bought something that I figured I'd do a review on. Uh, if you ever have a check engine light come on in your car, and you ever want to know how, what's wrong with it, you can always go to like AutoZone or anywhere like that and they'll diagnose it for you free of charge but you know if you ever want to do it at home or while you're out in the road I picked up this little thing called the micro mechanic it's called I seen on TV now it's supposed to be able to go through your Bluetooth on your cell phone link it to your cell phone and it'll tell you exactly what's wrong with your car you know, and then it'll tell you, it's supposed to tell you a bunch of different things like, uh, it's this here, it says instantly scans and diagnosis problems, wireless displays on your smartphone, easy to under understand, works with all vehicles. So, and it says it prevents $1,000 in costly car repairs. So, this is, as I say, in, uh, purge into port and under the dashboard. So, yeah, I'll show you that in a bit. It says wireless right to your cell phone. See, right there. It says right to your cell phone. So, on the back, it says features and benefits. Tells you the engine's lights on. Well, why your, your engine light is on. Adv uh, advises you how to serve car problems. It is an art energy, uh, emergency or not. Or if it will tell you if it's an emergency or not. Helps you uh, you prevent repair shop flip uh, ripoffs. Let's let your you turn off engine light oil change and maintenance reminders so it tells you all that so it's, it's, not, it's seeming interesting I saw that at my work um, now originally cost about 20 bucks just 20 bucks for that micro mechanic I'll be honest with you I picked it up because my work I guess they're going to discontinue carrying this I got it for five bucks. See, there's like one of those uh, car. Yeah, it's like uh, they were only selling it for five bucks, trying to get rid of it. I don't know. Maybe they didn't sell enough. I mean, I work in a grocery store, so that could be why. So I picked it up for five bucks. I said, "What the heck? You know, if it doesn't work, you know, I'm out five bucks. Well, you know, I could probably sell it at a yard sale or something. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah. So let's open this up." Alright, here's everything that comes with it. Got the box open. There's the box. And all that. And here's what the micro mechanic looks like. See? It's just a little thing there. And here's the instruction manual. Let's open that up. Tells you all how to do that. You gotta say, you gotta download an app. They said, there's an app you gotta download onto your phone and tells you how to troubleshoot and all that kind of stuff different uh, looks like codes here and stuff like that so it looks pretty simple you know different little things on the back now, I say they're not they, they do put a disclaimer on it say that you know they can't guarantee you that it's gonna solve your problem just gives you an idea I guess let's see open this up of course you know you see that it's see how big the box is and stuff you know and this is all it is look at that tiny tiny little thing a big box for that tiny little thing so it's like it's weird that they do stuff like that but yeah now yeah now I have to download the app 
onto my phone. Now to download the app onto your phone, you go into your Play Store, or if you have an uh, iPhone or Apple or whatever, Apple Store, you know, and then you have to look up the uh, for micro mechanic. So let me see, micro. Mechanic, there it is. See, and there's the app. You can see that very good. That's a, and I've actually already downloaded it. And it said, and you just once you download it, hit open. See, now it comes up. Now you have to put in all your information. They do tell you at the beginning they want you to, you know, email and all that kind of stuff, but. So let's go out to my truck and plug this in, see if it works. Here I am in my truck and this is where you plug your thing in. You gotta plug this into your computer. So you gotta take this and plug this into your computer. See there's, there's a little thing underneath your dash. I'm not sure what you different vehicles will be in a different spot it looks like that a little computer thing and all that then you plug that in just like that right in there that's all you gotta do is plug it in now let's move up to the other part alright start out you turn on your the app says so, 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 so start scan. So what you got to do is you got to take, turn the car on until all your lights come on. Don't start it up. Just turn the car on and then hit start scan. See? Now it's scanning. Now it says no problems that found. Uh... It says the next scheduled maintenance is 5,000 miles. So, not sure why it's not reading what the problem is. Because, like I said, I went through AutoZone and they told me what's wrong with it. But, let's try it again. So, I've not used this yet. Now, it says safe to drive. You know, no problem, safe to drive. See, automatic transfers, fluid, and cables, belts. That's the scheduled maintenance, 5,000 miles. 10,000 miles service. You know, 25,000 service. And it tells you what all that kind of stuff that you need to do in those times and stuff like that. But. Why it's not telling me what the scan, uh, the the check engine light's coming on? Now you're supposed to be able to shut the check engine light off too, but see warning on your dashboard. See, I don't get it, but I have watched other videos where it didn't show what problems it have, and this is a 2003, so I know it's uh. If it's a mid-90s car and all that, this is not supposed to work with it. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I was hoping to be able to turn that check engine light off. Because, yeah, you're supposed to be able to turn that off. Because I know what it is. It's nothing major in there. It's, uh, it's some kind of a filter or a pump that goes through your gas tank. That's supposed to, uh. Uh, that needs to be replaced and it's not affecting the performance of the truck but yeah I don't know why this is not picking it up but like I said this is my you know version of showing you how it's done and it said it's, it's kind of interesting I might play around with it a little bit see if maybe it'll finally pick up my little code and and all that 
So, yeah, you never know. I mean, if you're interested, check it out. I mean, I'm sure it's at Walmart or any other place that is as seen on TV things. You know, I'm sure you probably could pick it up on an Amazon and all that. So, don't don't take my word for it. You know, it could work. Might be work better for you than it does to me right now. I mean, I'm not a perfect, you know, guy to deal with this stuff. I mean, I'm just kind of learning this stuff myself. So yeah, the micro mechanic. Check it out. Okay, after doing that little review, I was, I was reading the instructions a little bit more. And there is on here, you said you can use other apps to use this for. Uh, not just the Micro Mechanic app. You can use Carista, Obal Auto Doctor, Mini OBD, Car Scanner Elm, Discounting tracking or car doctor and torco and I tried the uh, car scanner elm and that actually worked I actually got the check engine light to go off but it still told me about that it did they see now that one the car scanner one picked up that emission thing that AutoZone told me so yeah, that's cool. I might try those other ones, see what those are dif do differently. But yeah, there's different apps you can use. I'll put a link down to those in the description on the different apps you can use. Because yeah, because obviously the micro mechanic one did not pick up that emission thing that AutoZone told me, but the car scanner Elm did. So maybe these something wrong with their app I don't know uh, like I said I've never used this before but at least I was able to get that check engine light to go off and uh, it said it, that's what they said it was a mission leak uh, and yeah, it's just one of those little sensors or something like that where there's like a leak in the sensor so I'll get that fixed eventually you know it's not that it's, that it's gonna affect the Formats of my truck and all that. So yeah, uh, obviously I got it to work somewhat. The app didn't work, but the actual scanner, micro mechanic scanner, actually worked. So yeah, I mean if you're interested, as I said, only twenty bucks at Walmart and. Like that, or Walmart, or any place I was. I'm sure that's as that as anywhere they got the I as seen the TV things, the micro mechanic. And so I'm gonna leave that in my truck, and if there's any other issues comes up, I said I might try those other apps too to see maybe they do something different and all that. So don't take my word for it. You know, you you can try it out yourself. You know, it's cheap, 20 bucks. I mean, other ones I've found, you know, cost about 100 bucks or something like that. So that's not that bad. But it's it. You know, like I said, this one was on reduced 5 bucks. Couldn't beat that. I mean, and if it works, it works. You know, maybe later on I'll get one of the better ones or something like that. But for now, this works. Comes off right after your cell phone. And you can leave it right in your truck or your vehicle or whatever you're using. You know, it, does, it looks like you don't even have to be a mechanic. This way, you know what's wrong with it when you take it to the mechanic. And, you know, they might still try to give you a runaround, especially you ladies. You got to be careful out there. There's a lot of mechanics that like to take advantage of you ladies if you don't know, you know, anything about cars. So be careful with that. And there's even guys I know that don't even know anything about cars. I, I know guys that don't even know what a dipstick is. And I look at them and I'm like, are you kidding me? You don't even know how to check your own oil? I mean, that's why I say some people need to take auto mechanics, uh, like at least one semester of auto mechanics. That's what they should do in school. 
That should be a requirement to take one semester of auto mechanics, whether you like it or not. This way you know how to even change a spare tire. I don't want to see it, you know, get how people don't know how to change a spare tire. You know, it's not that hard. You know, everybody wants to call the auto club and everything like that, which costs you money. This, you can do this stuff, for, you know, cheaply. That's why I picked this up, you know. I mean, yes, the auto is owning them. They will do it free, and but there's other places that will charge you just to check for a problem in your truck or your vehicle or whatever, you know. So, yeah, take it my, you know, don't take my word for it. If you try it out, this is just a review. Uh, I'm impressed with it so far. Uh, the Micro Mechanic. So, if you like this video or this review, hit that like button. Share, subscribe. Any comments from me? Any comments appreciated? Any ideas for me to do? And any reviews you want me to do? Let me know. I just might. So, until next time, my fellow travelers. I'll see you around the mitten.